Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jewel. We're gonna do a little creating today. We're gonna make some embellished paper clips. Um, I love to do different types of altered paper clips, rather altered paper clips. Um, here's a bunch of ones that I made out of die cuts and um, with dangles. And what I'm going to do is I will um, link uh, my other altered paper clip um, videos in the um, description box so you can find them easy. Um, I also love these that I made a, a while back that have the pockets and then they flip up where you can do a little journaling spot and there's um, packaging on the back side so they are using um, things that you probably all have in your um, craft room if you're a junk journaler or that you can get without going out and buying things. I use a lot of different um, cutoffs and things like that. Today I'm going to share with you these cute little paper bag uh, altered paper clips. Now I'm sure you guys, well, if you get prescriptions or get anything from the drugstore, uh, you get these kind of white bags like this um and i save these because sometimes i just like to collage over them and alter them and put them in a book fold them and you know um put them in a book but i have so many of them that i'm like well you know let's let's cut them down and do something else with them i also have these um well this is a piece that i already cut up these beverage bags um from the grocery store they'll put olive oil in them or if you go in and get a bottle of wine they'll put the bottle of wine in that um sometimes i always ask for them if i have glass goods to put them in one of these so i have tons of them probably a couple hundred <laughs> and so what i made is um I made these cute little uh, paper clip um, paper bags, and I'm going to show you how I did that. And then you can go in and decorate them. Um, there's and I've inked these. Uh, this one just says create on it. It's a cute, cutest little paper bag, and I'm going to show you how to make this. And on the back, as you can see, there's a paper clip. And then you can tuck pieces of ephemera in them or little notes or small pictures or when you put them in your journal. So here are the ones that I, uh, I did out and I did different sizes and I just started cutting and um, I would fold over and see how if I liked the dimensions uh, so they look more like a paper bag because so, a couple of them came out like this one I didn't like it it looks more like an envelope because uh, of the dimensions it's too wide as opposed to the to the length if you get what I'm meaning so it's kind of a squatty looking paper bag so like this is a this is this one right here I like this dimension so I just pulled out my scrap thing and um, some burlap and some peeled cardboard here. Uh, also, I pulled out some of my prompts. Um, so I'm using those on some of them. And then I pulled out a few buttons and some beads and a couple of... Um, crystals and my paper clips and we'll get going creating these they're super simple and lots of fun and you'll be on a roll making these and you can put them in your stash to put them in your journals uh the this one is made out of the beverage bags okay and then what i did is let me pull this one off okay this uh and uh, look how cute these are just to slip something in them um, I used the I used some craft paper, but you can use any of your scraps. Um, like I used some cutoffs. Let me see. Let me pull this one off. See right here, some of my cutoffs. I just used those scraps uh, to do to adhere the paper clip to. Okay, so let's get going. Um, like I just want to show you this real quick. I just did a little crystal here and a little piece of lace. 
a few layers here. And this would be good if you guys make snippet rolls just to trim your snippet roll, a piece of snippet roll off, and you can uh, put that there and then do a little, um, you know, a journaling prompt on them. So um, I don't have any snippet rolls. I need to make some uh, nice little like the narrow ones. Okay, let's put those aside. Let's pull out the paper bags and I'll show you. It's so simple how you make these out of your other old bags. Okay, let's start with the brown. Um, I'm just going to take this and trim. Whoops, let me pull this this way so you guys can see. Um, see this part? I'm just going to trim that right off because that'll just that's going to be too bulky for for the bag. Then what you'll have left is you open your paper bag up like this, and of course you have the gusset sides here. I guess that's what you call it. And so what I'm what I'm going to do is just fold that flat. Okay, so now I have a flat bag. Now you can use your scissors or you can use your trimmer, and I'm just going to use my trimmer. And I'm just going to cut off, uh, see where this fold is? Because, um, I mean, I'm sure you could kind of iron this out. I just didn't want to crease in the middle of one of my bags. So I'm just going to, going to um, cut right up that crease. So then we have this. And I'm going to take this section, and I'll use this for something else. I don't know what. Something or I'll toss it. All right, put it in the this trash. All right, so now I have this nice piece of, it's like just a craft, you know, what'd you call it? Newspaper kind of fabric or fabric um, paper. So now I'm just going to, this is a little crooked, so let me straighten this out a little bit. I think it's this side. So I'm just gonna line it up so I have a, a straight piece to work with. Here, I don't wanna take that much off. Let's take this piece off. All right, now for this size bag, I believe, let me get a little measure, cause I kind of, I didn't really measure these. I kind of just cut them. This is uh, one and three quarters inches wide. So you're going to wrap it, you know, you're going to fold it in half. So, or fold it around so you have the bag part. So we're going to double that. So we need about a three inch width uh, on that. So let's just take a three inch piece. So I'm going to cut this down to three inches. I'm gonna do it a little bit more because we're gonna be, you'll see, I have to, um, okay. So we have a three inch piece. Let me put this over here. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Let me see. <coughs> Might need to get a drink. <coughs> Jeez. Yeah, this is a little bit over three. So I'm simply going to go and fold this about three quarters of the way in. I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna fold it again here. So this is going to be the back of the bag. Okay, so now we have this folded in half just like this. Now this is gonna be too long, so I'm gonna take a little off of here in a minute. Then I'm just gonna fold up here, and this is gonna be the top. Okay, so let me show you. So what we're gonna do is when you unfold it, you're gonna have this section here. So this is going to be the back, and this would be the front, but we want it to look like a bag, so we have to cut off this front part. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my scissors, and I'm gonna come in here, and just cut that little section away. And we'll do two or three of these so you can 
see what I'm doing here. All right. So see, um, the front is, see there, this is here. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to glue it, then we're going to cut the sides on an angle. So I'll show you that in a second. All right, so we're gluing up. Just go right to the very end. I just have some tacky glue here for that. Okay, so then what we wanna do is so it looks like, you know, like a paper bag at the top. Here, let me grab a paper bag. Well, let me just grab one of these so you can see it. See how you have the front is down and then it's kind of angled up or you can round the edges. Now that looks, a, I'm gonna trim this just a little bit. That looks like it's a little bit too high. And when we ink this, I think you'll be able to see it better. Now this is a little long, so I think I'm just going to trim off. Let me get my bigger scissors here. Trim it down to where I think it looks like it's the right size. That's not even. And I think this will be good because now what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip the little bag over. Let me pull a, um, let me pull a piece of paper under here so you can see this. See if you can see this a little bit better. When I ink it, you'll see it. And we're just gonna fold up the back, okay? So this is going to be the back of it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna angle this right here again just so it looks like so it looks like this but there's a little bit too much bulk there so I'm just going to fold it down and cut off this piece right here so if you've made little bags or little envelopes you get an idea of what I'm doing here as far as um, you know doing that little angled cut and then we're just gonna glue up this flap here. And we have our first bag. Let me get this closer to the camera. So this is the back of the bag, and here's the front of the paper bag. Let's just ink this real quick, and then you might be able to see it better. I did bring the camera down a little bit, so. Hopefully, because these are so small, these little bags. So here's your little paper bag. Now, when you attach your paper clip, you can go here before you attach your clip to embellishment, embellish it if you want it embellished. Or, this is still a little crooked, isn't it? That's bugging me. You can always measure this. Um, if you want to embellish it, or you can go ahead and add your paper clip now. So let's just add a little paper clip to the back, and I'm going to show you how I do that. If I can get, I got one of these little copper color ones. I just have this little scrap here of craft paper, and I've got it down into like an inch strip, inch and a half strip. Whoops. And um, I'm just going to measure here and just cut this off so it's about three quarters of the length of that bag. So now what we're going to do is we're adding the paper clip to this. So I'm just going to put the pa paper clip right on the top here. Now you know on your paper clip you have a thinner side and then you have a wider side. So I, I want to put the glue on the thinner side because I want to be able to clip with the larger part of the clip. If you know what I'm talking about. Now for this you can use hot glue or real good glue. I kind of don't think the tacky glue holds a paper clip real well. Um, I think the paper clip is a little heavy for that because and this is what I do I, I'm generous with my glue right around the clip and then not quite so much here so it looks like a lot but I want to really secure that paper clip to the back of this so now I'm flipping my envelope over so here we are in the back and I'm bringing this up 
and just popping that let me show you in here let me just take the end of this and get in there and get that glue down you can use your bone folder or whatever you have I just happen to have that laying here so I'll use that and you can come in and, and um, uh, go ahead and um, ink the back of this if you want so there's your little mini uh, let me add this over here your little mini paper bag and let me see you can make these in all sizes so let's flip let's flip this over this way actually I'll just flip it over here like this and what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna put it just like that and we'll um, make another couple and then we'll come back and embellish a couple of these all right so here's another piece of paper here let's make one a little bit bigger now that one I did uh, like three inches um, depending on the size ephemera that you want to tuck in there or whatever if you want to make them i just make them whatever sizes you want so i'm going to make this um i don't know can you guys see me let me put this here i think i'm going to do a four inch a four inch piece all right now that's going to be the height okay it's going to be or the width that'll be no that'll be the height four inches so let's go ahead because this and you know I just want to see what we're gonna have here yeah this is gonna be a little bit too tall for this piece so I'll just cut it off again so then what you're gonna do again you just fold it over and if you guys hold on a second if you guys want me to you know, if you don't want to try to measure your sizes, I can, like, I make these envelopes, and I have the exact size for these. If you if you want me to do something like this where I tell you exactly for the size paper bag, let's say, let me show you. Um, I can do that, but I figured, you know, you guys can make your bags any size you want. Um, the height of this bag is two and a half but the width is one and three quarters so i could do these measurements for you and then tell you the exact size piece of paper or bag piece you need to cut for to make a size bag like that and like this one this little this little tiny thing is only one and three quarters by one and a half it's a little squatty um, a little squattier than I like these here's the white ones like this one let me see this one is two and over two it's like two eh, about two and three quarters again and then one and uh, one and three quarters and that's a good dimension okay so I could do that for you if you would if you would like that but right now we're kind of just going with whatever we cut out and just take a look at it actually let me make it a little wider okay so all i did was fold it over okay simple simple and then take one side which would be the top fold it up let's try to make it even and then i'm going to unfold that i'm going to cut this down this is too long and I'm going to take that middle section out. For you guys that are new to, you know, making your own envelopes or bags or coin envelopes or whatever, um, I'm going a little slower. Um, this is kind of the process you do on envelopes and coin envelopes where you make coin envelopes. All right, so from here, we're just gonna glue that one side and then we're going to angle the top. Just angle the top. I kind of flip it over so I can make sure it's even. All right, I'm going to take this down a little bit because I feel like it's the flap is just too, there we go, that looks better. 
Now I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to flip this up to see how long I want it. And then I'm just, yeah, that's probably long enough. Well, I'll make it just a tad longer. So I'm gonna cut this, I'm just gonna cut this off so the dimension is a little bit better. I don't want the bag that long. Okay, so now we're gonna flip, turn it over. You're gonna flip up the back piece, okay? Then you're gonna come in and do another little angle like you did at the top. Just be, it just looks better. You don't have to do that, you know? Then we're going to take this, we're gonna just fold it over and take this piece right off. Just so you don't need that extra bulk. And glue this. Okay, and there's our second bag. Now we'll we'll go ahead and um, let's go ahead and ink that real quick. Just do a little inking. Just to stress it a little bit. And um, I'm just going to take this and come around the edges a little bit more, just for interest. Sorry if I sound a little um, stuffed up today, guys. We have um, pollen like crazy down here. My back patio is um, green. <laughs> I mean green from the pollen. Get those unattached. All right, here's my piece of craft paper because it matches the bag. And I'm kind of just gonna eyeball how long of a piece I need, so about like that. Cut that. Take my paper clip, and I can use, I could probably take a bigger paper clip here. Yeah, let's take a bigger one because this one's a little longer, so. Just going to pop that one on there, get my um, fabric tack or your tacky glue or your heavy, or, or like I said, um, a real inexpensive way is just to use your hot glue, hot glue gun. If you're gonna make a ton of these, I'd suggest hot glue gun. And then this is on, uh, just put it to the on the back. All right, and we'll make a couple of the white ones. Now that that white, those Walgreen and CVS bags are a little flimsier. So they're, you might wanna use scissors to cut those. So here is our second paper clip, ready for us to embellish or leave just like that. Let me see if I have, whoops. See if I have some cute ephemera after that we can just pop in these or little pictures or whatever coordinates with your uh, journal that you're working on. There, we got two little bags there. Um, like this one, we're gonna do, uh, we'll, we'll do one white one. Um, I have a little pink in there because I have an upcoming journal that's got pink in it. Actually, let me show you. So it's kind of the grungy. I'm working on this one now um, in it, cause I'm doing a series of, uh, spring. I haven't found my image for the top of this yet. I want to do an image on it. Uh, this is a soft sided journal and I, this one I'm going to probably just make into like a journal kit where all the ephemera is on the side that you can add by, you know, to it yourself. Um, okay. So next up we'll make a white one and then we will um, go ahead and do a little bit of embellishing. Okay, so again, with, with the white bag, it's a little bit different bag. Let me move some of this stuff aside. It's getting too busy over here for me. I cleaned my craft room the other day um, uh, just so, see the Walgreens bag's a little thicker. I think we'll use that one. This is this CVS bag is almost like a glassine bag. And those are cute. You, you know, you could just do plain glassine little baggies. All right, I'm going to take the bottom off again. Let's see, just going to discard that part. Then I'm going to 
take the bag and flatten the sides of it. And I'm just gonna trim that part off. This feels like it's gonna rip. All right, and then I think I'm going to take, oh, my dogs are playing, guys. So if you hear something, a racket in there, they're playing. I got the little one. Um, not sure if I put the video up yet where I had her up here. We got a new rescue last summer. Um, a little chihuahua, and she's she's a little feisty little thing, but um, she's good for Ricky, which is my rat terrier, because they play like crazy, and they keep each other occupied. All right, so I'm going to make this, I think I'm out of frame, uh, three, um, I'm going to do three and a half inches, and that will be the, the width, okay? And then I have this little piece, and we'll try to make a little one out of that. Okay, so let me move that aside. Um, okay, now we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to fold this. You can do half or fold it a little over half. And then fold it again, okay? So that's the back. Oh, geez, now they're racing. They do zoomies through the house. And they go all over, they go under the bed. Uh, oh, okay, so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and take that middle piece out because that's the, um, that will be the back of the bag when you flip it over, or the front of the bag, rather. So we're just gonna take that right off. There we go. Now we can glue it Oops. a little clogging it's good to be back guys <clears throat> you know I took like a year well nine ten months off from my YouTube channel and even closed or put my Etsy shop on vacation mode and took care of some life's businesses and just still came in here and you know did some things and made some journals and played around a little bit but not much you know kind of almost was like it was closed up and uh, but it's really good to be back I've got a lot of goals for the upcoming year um, here's our little bag. So here's the back. And there again, let's just take a little angle off there. Also, if you have a little, if you want to just round like the edges, you can. You could come in and, and round the edges here. Um, flip this off, up, take off this bulk here. Glue it. Um, I'm going to come back uh, and do another video um, of another altered paperclip idea I have as well. And um, that's probably going to be on next week. And I think I'm going to call this um, Friday Fun. Something like that. Don't know what I'm going to call it. Everybody comes up with these great uh, names. All right, let's see what we have here. I need to find a piece of scrap paper somewhere on my desk. Here's a piece right here. Always got scraps laying around. Okay, so now we're going to attach the paper clip. So I'm just eyeballing where I need to cut this. Okay, and I think I'll get one of those bigger clips because this paper bag's a little larger. You can do a gold or silver, whatever you've got in paper clips. You can get them at the dollar store. They're not a lot. The fun is in the altering them, isn't it? Okay, so we'll just put some glue. Let me see, this looks a little long because it is. Let me take a little bit more off. Is this the, yeah. Put the glue on the smaller side if, you know, that's the way you wanna 
equip it to your projects. Looks like a lot of glue, but it kind of almost requires it when it's on the metal like that. I sell my books, so I want to, whatever I put, I want to make sure they, they hold up. I mean, most of them. I'm going to be doing a lot of giveaways this year, guys. So be looking for that one a month. And um, giving uh, to charity one journal sale a month. And you guys, I'm up for suggestions of that. So let's go ahead and grunge this up a little bit. You don't have to. Whoops. Got a big thumbprint right there, don't we? So that I will cover up with an embellishment or fingerprint. Okay, so here's another one down. Um, let me put this one over here. All right, and then we had one more piece, and I'll just quickly show you, and then we're going to embellish, and we're going to call it a day. Um, I thought I had another... Well, I don't know what I did with it. Okay, so that's it for the bag. So you saw how simple that was. You just take these apart and away you go. Let's go ahead, let's go ahead and since this one's right here, let's do a little embellishing. Okay. Let's see what I got. I got one of, th I have three of these full of stuff. So I'm thinking I might use this because um, that kind of stood out to me. That's too much. Let's get, um, let's just pull out some stuff. Heck, let me see. I'm, I'm looking for neutral colors. Here's some white cheesecloth. Uh, okay, that's fine. Let me see what else we got here. All right. Okay, I hope I'm in frame here. Um, let's just start layering a little bit. This is just a little bit of muslin that I have a little, there's a little inking script on it. I don't know if you can see that. Um, let's just put that down in this corner maybe. See what else we have. I like this burlap, this little piece of uh, burlap, but I kind of really like that burlap. I'm going to save that for the brown. I'm gonna save that. That's a. Let's just cut a little piece of applique here. Just a little piece. It's actually a piece of a. Like a. Applique. It's a little bit big. Cut that. Actually, I like this little piece. Let me just get some strings. This has a, that's actually the um, material I'm using. It's just a piece of the material I'm using in the, uh, my newest journal. You know what, I'm gonna take this off of here. Bring it down here. Let me do it over here. I kind of like to do things on an angle. This is too big. Let me just take this right off here. Boy, these scissors. I've used them for too many things. They're not very good on fabric anymore. They're old, old. The old Tim Holtz scissors. I do have a new pair of those, but I end up getting glue on them, and all right, there's a little layering there. Um, I'm going to ink this a little bit. Just going to plop a little glue down. Go ahead and put that that down. This I don't really like the way this is. This is a little thick. Let me see if I can find a 
Here's something. There we go. This is a thinner piece. Let me just cut a little piece of this. I like that better. Let me do this right here. I think I used this on, on one of my layer lace journals. Trim this down a little bit. This shouldn't take this long. I don't know why it's taking me so long. Usually I can pop these together pretty fast. This isn't looking good, is it? I want that pe I want that color in there. All right, because we're gonna add a little prompt on here. It'll all come together when we finish it. So we'll do a little, do a little glue there. Just pop that there. Pop this little one there. I have this little flower. That's too much. All right, let's see what we have. How about hope? Let's do right, the word right. Let's cut this out. These, all I did was go into Word and cut in and type up um, just a bunch of journaling prompt words. So, so, let me just trim it down a little bit. I think I'm gonna add a little crystal on this one. And let's just ink it real quick. Everything's so tiny, just tiny. It's a little fumbly. You could probably just use your tacky glue for that, for this, but I've got this out, so. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that right there. And I think I'm going to add, I, I've got some little buttons here. Can I add a little button? Right down here in this corner. Oops, some strings. You could, put, you could stop and put a little thread in there if you wanted to, but it's not necessary. Okay, so there's one little one. Let me see what I have in the way of ephemera and see what I can pop in there just so you can see. Um, I have a lot of these ephemera um, journals here, ephemera holders, I don't know, whatever you wanna call them. And I did uh, create uh, a um, how-to video on these if you're interested. Easter's coming up, so we've got to work on an Easter journal. How about one of these? Love these. This is from um, the Graphics Fairy. This one is kind of a little. Oh, that's way too big. Jeez. Wee, I need teeny. I need teeny ephemera. Hmm. Nothing in that book. Well, let me pull out. Let me pull out another book. You guys can fast forward. Hey, hey. Shh. quit. Boys, this is cute. Let's see, this is too wide too, isn't it? No, we could do that. Little ticket. I'm gonna trim it down a little bit with birds. Um, not sure where I picked this one up. I think the graphics fairy as well. I don't think it came from a kit. So there is that one. 
a little piece of ephemera in it. And let's quickly decorate one of the um, brown ones. And if you guys, you guys can go on through here if you don't, if you don't want to watch this. Everybody's got their own way. Okay, let's take a piece of the burlap because I do like that. Let's, let's decorate this one right here. That's nice and kind of shabby or I'm just gonna put that pop that right in the middle probably um, let me find some cheesecloth this is a real grungy piece here let's pull it apart I wanted, it's not, it's quite not quite enough. This was, um, I have better cheesecloth. That cheesecloth right there, I don't know where I got that, but it's very, very mashy, you know, like a real mesh. This, this cheesecloth, I just um, did a coffee dye. I just coffee dyed the whole big piece. This one's better. All right, so that I want first. And I kind of just gonna pop it on there, just like this, and then kind of just scrunch it all together. Just like that. I can come back afterwards and kind of just fray the edges more. There's quite a bit here. And we'll pop this on the middle, in the middle. Right there. And I think I'm going to just get a, um, one of my journaling prompts about just the one that says, let's do the one that says create. Just cut that out. And I feel like we need one more thing on here. So I think, um, I think I'm gonna trim a tiny bit of this off. And just kinda tear away at it. Um, you know what else this, these would be fun for? I'm looking, and you could just put a bunch of little prompts in them. Just like that. Wouldn't that be good? That'd be fun. Actually, let's just leave it just like that. So here's the other one. And then I'm going to go on and make a bunch more. And I wanted to show you one last thing real quick. Uh, if I can find it. Yes. Um, this one I actually even did a, this is a piece of uh, fabric here, uh, like a white um, oh, duck cloth, and then a piece of um, bo cardboard box that I, you know, you peel the top off, and then a little lace, and then I just t took a bulb pin and added, um, oh, there is one more idea too I just thought of. I added three little um, seed beads on there. So can you see that? Uh, you know what we could do? We could take, um, let's say this was the bag. Let's say we made made a little bag here. Let me let me quickly just do this. All right, this this one I've, I'm not gonna do, but you get an idea where I'm going, what I'm gonna go with. Okay, so this would be the bottom. Okay, so this would be the bottom of the bag. 
I, you could come in and do a, a little hole and do a little bride in it. Um, it looks like I, my electricity just popped. And put a little bride in it. Let me see. Um, little bride, little bride. Not a bride. Not a bride. A little lilac. Well, you could do put a bride in it, too. I mean... You just want to do it right at the bottom so you don't take away from the, um, you know, whoops. You guys know where I'm going here. And just take your little bulb pin. Uh, I know I'm out of frame. And just put a button on it or a bead. Let me see. These buttons are a little bit big, but I have this one here that's small enough. Let's put a button on it and pop. I don't want to attach the brad because, or the, 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 um, cause I, I want, I'm not going to use, I'm not going to use this bag cause it's not made, but you get an idea and have, oh, you can just pop in there, pop in there. Have that hanging on the bottom of the bag if you get if you get my gist. So you, you see what I'm saying? So that would be cute too. I think I'm gonna make a couple like that when I get off when I shut the camera off. Okay, guys, so that's my little embellished paper clip. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and gave you uh, some ideas. Okay, have a blessed day. Bye bye.